I want to solve now a simple exercise on group morphism and normal subgroups. Namely, we have the following statement. Let G be a group. And suppose we have two uh, normal subgroups. Let's call them H and K. which intersect at the trivial group. Then what happens is that G is isomorphic to a, to a subgroup of the product between the quotients. So I want to solve this by exhibiting explicitly an uh, a morphism of group, say, uh, phi from G to this product. And then use the fundamental theorem on homomorphism of groups and get that G over the kernel is isomorphic to the image of this map, which will then be a subgroup of this product. So let's define explicitly this map. We have an obvious choice for phi by defining the map that associates to an element G the pair of cosets whose equivalence class is determined by G, namely GH here and GK. By way of preference, I prefer always to work with left cosets, but of course we could also do the same reasoning with right cosets. So the first thing we check here is, is that this is actually an anomorphism of groups, namely that phi of G1 times G2, which by definition is equal to G1, G2H, G1, G2K, and this is equal to the product G1H, G2K, uh, sorry, G1K times in the product group G2H, G2K. So this is the definition of product in the product group. And so this is clearly equal to phi of G1 times G, phi of G2. So this is indeed an homomorphism, and now, in order to apply our reasoning, we want to show that the kernel of this phi is trivial. So let's do this here. The kernel of phi, by definition of kernel, is a set of G, of Gs in capital G, such that phi of G is equal to the pair of cosets H K. Now, phi of G by definition is G H G K, so we are asking that this is equal to the pair H K. So for the first condition that G H is equal to, G, to H, we need to have G in H, while for the second condition that G K is equal to K, we need to have G 
in k. Therefore, this is just equal to the set of g in g, such that g is in h and g is in k. And this is obviously the intersection, which by our assumption coincides with the trigger group generated by the identity. Therefore, the map is injective, and by applying the fundamental theorem on homomorphism, we get that G over the kernel of phi, which is just G, is isomorphic to the image. And we all know that the image of a group morphism is always a subgroup of the target group.